Got a more serious question from Lindsay Danes. Lindsay says, what is the strongest message you think you could share about stopping the stigma of mental illnesses? Ooh, that's a, that's a doozy, I know. You know, nothing is solved or eradicated until we start talking about it. Just talk about it. And I think if you're hesitant to talk about it, like many people are, examine why you are. Because if you really write it down on paper, why you're hesitant to talk about it, you'll see the chain of events is that, well, I was sort of given the subconscious message that this made me weaker, or this made me incomplete, or this made me weak. And the fact is that's just baloney. And until you hear um, examples representing things for the better, which is, would you ever deny a diabetic his insulin? Would you ever look at a diabetic and say, you know what, you are weaker with that shot, you shouldn't take that shot. You should really just try to process the sugar all by yourself. No, that's absurd. It's absurd. And science has isolated why mental illness exists in a lot of different studies. And if you have a serotonin imbalance or any one of the other mental illnesses that exist, they're more prevalent than we think because we don't talk about them. And until we start talking about them and stop looking at them as a weakness and instead look at it as a way that I'm taking care of myself. I'm not, I don't go to the gym because I'm weak. I go because I want to better my body and better me as a human being. So I think the one way to stop it is to just start being more casual, like stop walking on eggshells around it. This is the first thing we've done since we became Riley's parents.